Welcome back to a new video. Make sure y'all mash the like button as soon as y'all come in the building. Shouts out to Notification Gang. So the story of these past two days in basketball has been about Draymond Green, Jordan Poole, Golden State Warriors. And NBA season is about to start. Preseason games are going on. Everybody's getting ready for the season to start. But it seems like it's been tension brewing between Draymond Green and Jordan Poole. And if we go back and think about it, Draymond Green and Kevin Durant had gotten into a situation. But Kevin Durant more or less backs down. Possibly Jordan Poole didn't back down and he continued to talk. And Draymond Green, who considers himself the enforcer on the Golden State Warriors, I guess got tired of it and wasn't having it no more. So... Video shows that TMZ released today that Draymond Green put them paws on Jordan Poole. Sucker punch, sneak attack, whatever you want to call it. But Draymond Green has a role on this team that he's been having for a while because Klay Thompson and Steph Curry... They're like the Kevin Durant type of attitude. They're going to back down. They're going to... There's not really any else on the team like a DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, I forget the guy that um used to play for him a while back. But there's no older guys, veterans on the team that will get Draymond's face. So Draymond, if somebody is not listening or somebody is not falling in line like he wants you to, he's going to get in your face. And let you know about it. And in this case, put them paws on you. And, you know, it's kind of split. It's, it's kind of like, I understand, but not. You shouldn't necessarily have to go that route. But, you know, if, if, it's a de if it's a certain way that things are done. And he's been here a long time. Well, maybe you got to fall in line. He's not perfect. He's not always right. But maybe you got to go in and, and follow those trends from what he's saying to do. And Jordan Poole. Being as though he was such an essential part of the team last year with the scoring and was just that third splash brother. Probably feels like, hold up, man. You're you not finna talk to me. You're not finna bully me at all. Not happening. Not on this watch. Which I understand that too, man. You ain't finna come and just tell me what to do and think I'm just gonna walk over and fall off and do it. I'm an NBA vet too. I helped win this championship last year just as much as you did, if not more. So definitely understand both points will they be able to coexist going forward? Ah, that's a good question because you did get punched. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section of my.